Hi everybody, I'm Sips, and, and here I am. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. Said I'd do it, I'm doing it. It's Adam Zombie Smasher. Um, this is the this is the full playthrough. I'm gonna do the whole thing. I'm gonna um, start a new campaign. I'm gonna do an extended campaign. I'm not gonna use any of these modifiers or anything. I'm gonna go for it uh, as it was meant to be played. Although I'm sure um, I'm sure the guy that made this meant it to be played with the modifiers at some point as well. But let's just pretend he didn't. And uh, this is episode one. And let's uh, let's kill some zombies. Hooray! Um, Here's the uh, here's the fun intro, so the comic strip, and uh, there's a little boy with his puppy and a thermos, and uh, he's seen some zombies behind the trees, and there's a soccer player here uh, cheering because he saw some zombies behind the trees, and some spaceships shooting each other um, because of zombies behind the trees, uh, and there's the zombies that they, they've got purple faces and hands, and. Uh, and they're 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 a real threat. We gotta watch out. So um, so here we go. Round one, me versus zombies. Um, we're gonna evacuate this territory with our with our pleasant pheasant, our evacuation helicopter, and um, it's all we've got. We don't have any mercenaries or anything, so we're just gonna have to place this thing somewhere somewhere somewhat sensible, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's not the best place, but. Um, there's not much we can do. I don't have any guns. I, I can't shoot anyone. And, uh... Oh God. It's, it's already a bit stressful. It's just not... I don't have any barricades. I don't have an ice amulet or anything. Oh, God. I don't know what I'm going to do. But, um... I mean, the thing is, we already passed a level. Because all I needed to do was evacuate ten people. And, um... I should have a full load here. Almost. Pretty close. Load? No, not quite. Um... Let's move that actually. Let's move the helicopter. Let's get it down here because there's some uh, there's some Zed coming, and Zed is the name of the zombies. Um, I just call them zombies because I prefer the the word zombies, but um, they're actually called Zed. And uh, oh my God, this isn't very good. It's nighttime. Here come the zombies uh, all over the place. They're chasing after all the citizens, but they didn't see all of them coming down here. So we're gonna get a couple of them into the helicopter before it gets really real. And uh, the LZ is too hot. Pleasant Pheasant has to take off and uh, come back and hopefully save this guy. Come on, you can do it. No, this, he's got him. Oh, he might not actually. We might save him. That could be... No, I don't think... I think he's going to get eaten. He got eaten. Oh god, it was so close. So close, we could have gotten that one last guy, but whatever. Um, so here we go. Round one's done. We neutralized the territory because we got um, rescued more people than we needed to. Um, the Zed infected a lot of people, so they got 81 points, and uh, I rescued 44 people, so I got 44 points. Um, and that's how it works, I got a silver medal. Hooray. It's nice to get a silver medal. It's better than, uh... Oh my, look at this. I thought, I actually thought that said 133rd Moon Prunes, but uh, actually it says the Moon Pumas. But uh, I think we should name, rename these guys, and, and that's one thing I really love about this game. You can rename all the mercenaries that you get. Um, we got pretty lucky here, actually. We got the um, we got the infantry ground assault force unlocked straight away, uh, which are pretty good. And um, you know, in keeping with tradition, I think we should call them. I think we should call them Winston. We'll call them Army of Winston after our, our good old pal from Orcs Must Die, the Paladins. And, and all of his sons. Um, this is the ground force for this game, so I think it's fitting that we call it Army of Winston. Um, Army of Winston? No, let's call it Army of Win... Stuns. There we go. Everyone in this army is named Winston. Um, and it's a big army. So we'll just sign here. We got our mercenaries. So we should be able to, uh, to do something in the next round. Um, hopefully claim a territory instead of just neutralize it. But neutralizing is just as good. It just means that the Zed don't get um, points after every round. Uh, but it also means that we don't either. But, uh, you know, that doesn't matter. All right, here we go. We're going to go to Las Gasno. Uh, population 125. Not the biggest city. It's more like, like a, a really small village, I guess. But uh, it needs to be saved nonetheless and um, let's uh, let's get the helicopter here the pleasant pheasant and then we'll get our infantry here so we can uh, we can cover the approach and uh, and the army of Winston's 
just likes to mumble. I don't know what they're actually saying. Um, but, uh, but there you go. Oops. Did I not put the helicopter? No, I didn't. Oops. Must have pressed the wrong button. There we go. So here comes the pleasant pheasant, and uh, our army of Winstons is ready, and uh, we can move them around now, which is nice. So we can intercept, try to kill some of these guys before they start eating all the civilians. 125 people in this, this city, and we don't want the Zed to eat too many of them. So we can just move them around here slightly, and they're, they're just going to keep shooting. Try to try to uh, stave them off here, and uh, this isn't going too badly. See what I mean? The infantry is really good. We can actually maybe conquer this territory. We've got about 40, 35 seconds left before uh, night time, and that's when uh, things start to go a bit crazy. So we'll just move the Winstons over here. Come on, guys. Faster than that. <coughs> Sorry, <clears throat> just got to clear my throat a bit. Um, okay, I'm uh, I'm clicking frantically, and you can hear the Winstons are mumbling away. <clears throat> they're gonna get start getting angry. It's not like in Warcraft when you right click stuff and they're like stop touching me and stuff. Um, these guys are just saying something in like Spanish or something. I don't know. Maybe it's Spanish. But, uh, it sounds good though. You know that they're angry again. But, uh, it's almost night time. I don't think we're going to quite get this, but uh, if we move the uh, Pleasant Pheasant uh, here, we should do a bit better. Well, we might be able to pick up another sort of bunch of people. And uh, and every civilian that we rescue is a point for us, so we might be able to take the lead here. We've managed to rescue quite a few people. And uh, <laughs> listen to the old Winstons in the back. Um, uh, crying? I guess they're crying. It's like Spanish crying. Some, some Spanish... Sp Spanish tears, some hot, spicy Spanish tears from the Winstons as they uh, as they move around and they kill zombies in the street. And uh, uh, actually, we should have moved them into the uh, LZ. I didn't think about it. I just wanted to run around killing Zed, but we might rescue a couple here before the Zed get down here. And uh, the LZ is too hot. I'll try to kill some of these guys. Ah, uh, not quite, not quite, but. We got a lot of points. We got 88 points. That's pretty good. So we got the uh, Pleasant Pheasant upgrade because we got a lot of XP for getting a lot of points. And I still got a gold medal there. So it wasn't too bad. And look, the medal's like moving a bit. That's nice. It's very nice. Um, I'm going to select my upgrades. And uh, I'm going to uh, decrease the load time of the Pleasant Pheasant. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to decrease the arrival time. I think that'll be a bit better. And let's do that. Pleasant Pheasant, Army of Winstons. Let's see what the hell we unlock this time. That 88 points. We've taken the lead. We're ahead by 38 points now. Neutralized another territory. And, uh, oh boy. Lino's Vultures. I don't know why you would call a barricade division Lino's Vultures. Um, to me, that's crazy. But uh, also pretty good. So let's, let's do it. Lino's Vultures. Here we go. So... Zed get 10 points because they, they control the territory. Um, and we are still ahead by 56 points. So we should be good. We should be good. So shorter daytime now. we got to be careful. Um, if we are going to do anything, uh, we need to, uh, to do it in, in a shorter amount of time. So hopefully we get our infantry and our barricades. We do. Um, I think what we want to do is, is try to funnel them down the middle here. So I'm going to put a barricade here. And I'm going to put a barricade here, and then I'm going to put the Winstons here, and I'm going to put the LZ back here, and uh, hopefully we can do this in enough time. Um, that'd be nice. Actually, no, I'm going to put the LZ here so that I can summon summon all these stragglers here with the, with the old Foghorn, and that'll be good. And uh, God have mercy on our souls. We want to save these people. We... We don't want them to turn into zombies. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but normally when you get turned into a zombie, the first thing that happens is your clothes go like all shitty for some reason. I don't know if that's because you like you grow like some extra like weird body parts or whatever. But like zombies' clothes are always just all ripped. Like their shoes are just like like a fucking shambles. Like there's holes in the shoes, and like the soles are missing and stuff. And sometimes the shoe is just missing altogether. I don't know what happened. Like. When, when they were getting attacked by a zombie that would cause them to lose their shoe like that, but uh, the Winstons 
Winston's weren't shooting fast enough. That's a real shame. Uh, we almost we almost got this map, but now we're just gonna have to uh, we're just gonna have to hold tight here. Try to get a full load and try to get as many points as we can because we're not gonna take the territory. It's too late now. It's night time. There we go. We got a full load. That's great. Move the LZ. Move down here to uh, to cover it off. Hopefully we'll get a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> the Winstons are just complaining. More more salty salty tears from the Winstons because I keep clicking like a maniac. I, I want to keep my APM up. I know this game doesn't track APM, but it's important to me. I, I like to have like a high APM. I like to click a lot, and uh, and that's good. So there we go. 61 out of 30. Not too bad. Nearly got upgrades for the Army of Winstons. We got a silver medal, and um, you know it's. Uh, it was good enough. It wasn't the best. I'll be honest, it wasn't really the best. But we're still ahead by 53 points. Um, soon to be less because the Zed actually controlled two territories. And check it out! This is exactly what we wanted. This is this is what we wanted right here. We got uh, we got our, our equivalent of Steve's now. The, uh, the, the Spider Loans. 525th Spider Loans. Which is kind of a dumb name. So... I think what we'll do is call these guys Army of Steves, as as we did in the um, Evening with Sips um, thing that I did on Adam's Army Smasher. Uh, which, by the way, I'll link at the end of this. If uh, if you actually want to know um, more about like how to play the actual game rather than watching this, um, you can check out that video because I, I go into a bit more detail in explaining what, what I'm doing and stuff. Whereas here, I'm just sort of assuming that you already know the game or you're just gonna sort of pick things up as as I do them um, but actually in saying that I'll try to explain them a bit more because it's only fair right I, that's right and here we go we got a new comic it's called Jeep animal smith climbs into his Jeep with a crate of vodka hall and bloodstained map okay she's out there I'm going to find her and I'm taking back my t-shirt Okay, so I guess somebody stole his t-shirt, and uh, even though there's a zombie apocalypse uh, going on, and he should just actually be concerned with like preserving his life, he wants his t-shirt back, which is uh, which is noble. That's noble. So um, so here we go. We're gonna find a good territory to evacuate, and um, I think uh, I think for episode one, this will be the last one. This will be the last territory. So let's do this one. I'll save it, and then we'll be back for episode two. Um, you know, later on or whatever. Okay, cool. So we got uh, we got our Winstons, um, which we can set up. I think we can set them up here for now. That'll be fine. Uh, we'll get some barricades set up. Um, see, we can't set up a barricade here because, for some reason, um, it it thinks that oh, I guess it's because when it's nighttime and they come down this road, um, they'd have nowhere else to go. So that's why you can't put a barricade there. That's fine though. We'll put a barricade here. And we've got more and more barricades, so we'll put it here, which means that uh, of the three streets that the Zed are coming down during the day here, they can only get through here. So that's fine. We'll put our LZ back here. Try to get some summoned summoned foghorn. Foghorn doesn't really summon people, but we'll try to get them summoned anyway. When the L when the uh, when the pleasant pheasant turns up, sounds the foghorn. This little radius thing that's that's sort of moving around. Um, indicates where, you know, if the, these little dudes are within that, um, they'll sort of get startled by the foghorn and then run towards it. So that's good. Um, okay, we got our Winston set up, and uh, we want our um, army of Steves as well to um, cover the middle here. Actually, no, let's get them to cover this side here, and then our Winstons will put here and get them to shoot these guys and these guys, and hopefully we can take this territory. That would be nice. Um, that's as good as it's going to get, so let's see what happens. And here we go. I'm going to start clicking the Winstons like a crazy madman again and get them crying. And um, that's that's how they deal with stuff. They just they cry a lot. They have to get to the point where they're like nearly inconsolable crying before they actually uh, can kill people. They're very emotional. Um, and you know, even, even though zombies deserve to get killed, they were people once too. And um, I think from Winston's point of view, they think, well... <clears throat> that could have been my grandpa or something. I don't know. I mean, he's horribly disfigured now, and I wouldn't recognize him anyway. But uh, what if I'm accidentally killing my neighbor or my postman or something? So, um, so that's fair enough. That's a fair point, and not one that's uh, that's normally ever considered. Oh God, we need to get Steve Steve to help here. 
We don't want these guys creeping into the LZ, and hopefully, hopefully those guys aren't too close for them to get shot. Oh my god, this is pretty bad, this is bad. Come on, Winston. Run faster. It's not just one Winston, but I'm just going to call him Winston anyway. We want to cover this LZ now, and uh, it's not going too, too well. We're going to have to redirect the Steves here, and we're going to have to get Winston back around here to help. And, uh, God, there's a lot of people. We've already rescued 45 out of 40. I thought maybe we'd take this territory, but it doesn't look like we're going to. There's too many Zed, too many infections, and, uh, yeah, it's just not going too, too good. I don't want to, this last guy here be a bit of a problem, so we'll shoot him. Shoot him in his face. Oh, we'll shoot this guy too. Come on. You get him. You get him. Oh, yeah, you got him. Okay, sweet. And uh, let's get the pleasant pheasant to land back there. And uh, it's going to be nighttime in four minutes. Or three seconds. <laughs> Not four minutes. One second. It's nighttime. And, uh, oh, God, I didn't. Re Did I not click pleasant pheasant to go up higher? No. Uh, I didn't rescue anyone there. And, uh,. Might be able to rescue the la these last couple of people. They're heading towards the landing spot because uh, they heard the foghorn last time. Let's let's cover them. We'll give them some cover. And uh, <laughs> I click so much that I can't even hear the music or anything. All I can hear is Winston's uh, moaning, moaning about me clicking too much, um, which is okay. It's fine. There we go. We rescued 65 people out of the 40 that we needed. Uh, we got upgrades for the Pleasant Pheasant. We got upgrades for Army of Winston's, which is nice. And uh, we got a bronze star, just a shitty brown bronze star. Not the best, not the best. Um, okay, Pleasant Pheasant, uh, let's decrease the load time as well. That'll be good. And uh, let's see what we can do for Winston. We can make them faster, which would be great, or we can give them better accuracy, which is also good. I think let's go for the accuracy for now, and then we'll speed them up later, because that'll be fine. And done. And, um, oh god, they're, uh, they're narrowing in. Well, not really, 64 points in the lead still, but they'll get a couple more points here for having those territories up there. And, uh, and here we go, 783rd Stalking Jaguars. Wow, that's a cool name. That is pretty cool. And this is for a dynamite uh, company, a, a company of engineers, I guess, with some hats and, uh, and a nice um, pervert coat. And uh, strapping up some dynamite to the walls here and stuff. That's cool, though. Um, that's fine. Stalking Jaguars, that's good with me. I think we'll, we'll go with that. And um, here we go. 30 points for the Zed, which means that I'm ahead by 60 now. Um, and I think... I think, if I can, if I can here, I should be able to. Wow, look at all the Zed, god, oh, okay, and now there's like a really big outbreak. I think we'll save that outbreak for after. I'll uh, I'll quit and save for now. See you soon, Rips. I'm saved. And that's it, that's episode one. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed playing this. I, I look for any excuse I can to play this, and uh, being able to record myself playing this is, is a good thing for me. So, um, so let me know what you think. Um, episode 2, obviously, we'll have to tackle that big uh, infestation, so uh, that'll probably be a pretty tough one. But uh, until then, thanks for watching. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and, uh, and I'll catch you for the next one. See you later.